Martin Clunes is the epicenter of Doc Martin, and his humor sets the tone for the cast. I don't like them. I don't really know them. They're not allowed to speak to me. <laughs> Action. Mrs. Titchell? Empty. Almost too empty. It was so much fun being here and playing opposite Martin and um, and then it sort of it evolved a sort of chemistry between them I think which was really enjoyable to work on. And then when I heard that Martin Clunes was playing the Doctor I thought that's brilliant because you know I've grown up watching him on TV and watching him grow up into I think a fantastic actor. His humour and his geniality that comes across uh, right the way through the day, there's 12, 13 hour days, and it's long, you know, and when it rains, it's not always sunny, it's, you know, pouring with rain. And uh, he's always still got the energy, and that, that sort of that filters down throughout the crew and everyone, there's no reason to be grumpy here, you know, even in the rain we can still have a laugh. Because he's such a delightful man to work with, it spreads, it trickles through the rest of the, uh, the, the company, so there's a really lovely feeling on the set, there's a feeling of warmth, trust and which gives you uh, a feeling that you can create very easily. Now Martin is, um, is wonderful for that really, he's a, he's a fantastic leader because he creates a wonderful atmosphere of, of, of humour, you know, but at the same time when the work needs to be done, it's, it's done extremely well. So um, he's been a big influence on me. Uh, I hadn't done too much television, certainly a whole series before I started this. And um, so he's been a great person to watch, you know, how he conducts himself. Well, when I first started on that very first scene, I was a little bit nervous because Martin is one of the funniest actors that we have. And I did think there was a bit of pressure on me to be funny. and. I was immediately put at ease by Martin just laughing at me, which made me feel marvellous. I thought, oh my God, I've made him laugh, that's fantastic. And really, I suppose from that moment on, we've had a, um, yeah, there's a kind of banter. Wonderful atmosphere of camaraderie and um, just generally, Martin likes to enjoy himself, doesn't want to do a job if he's not also going to enjoy it, and that is, that's infectious. You know, I love doing the surgical things. I love being a doctor, ripping open packets and injecting people, and being uh, uh, rough with children and the elderly. And but what I really love, and every time I'm getting bored of healing an old lady's leg or something, I get a scene with Caroline, and I, I remember what I like about my job again. I mean, Martin's amazing to work with. He's incredibly, you know, he's funny. He makes you feel very relaxed. It just, you know, the whole. Um, job to start with was just a lot of fun and I was absolutely thrilled to be asked back to come and do some more. I think it's Martin who makes it work because I think it's a really tough role for an actor to play that, to be able to be so Action. unsympathetic Action. to the general population but at the same time from everything that I hear from feedback from audiences just walking around Port Isaac or letters we get they seem to see something in his character that we know's there, that he gets across, which he doesn't actually state, which is, I think, down to the power of his acting ability. Oh, um, Miss Smith was marked as joining the Everson party downstairs. Well, why didn't you say so before, you imbecile? Show me. Because it's played by Martin, who is charismatic and is essentially an attractive Police. human being. No I think the combination Mrs. of Tishel, his skill of his acting in portraying Mrs. that weakness Smith. combined with his own natural attractiveness is, is why that, uh, that character works. And I've learnt so much from doing it as well, from you know, being around people who have been doing this job and been working for longer than I have. Um, and so you just, you just laugh a lot. And also everybody's constantly trying to find ways to make it funnier and wait, make the show funnier. Yeah. Particularly with Martin and Louisa, and we've often had almost neurotic attention to not repeating ourselves, not doing the same beat twice, and just taking it a different way each way, other than, rather, you know, because otherwise there's this danger of it becoming a soap opera where the, each character turns up and does the thing their character does and then goes off again. 
What's really joyful about this show is there is huge amounts of scope for bringing your own things into the show and the way the, the writers sort of use the environment of being in Cornwall and you can see sort of things that are happening in the village, maybe creeping into the show a bit too. So there's a lot of sort of real life stuff happening. Martin's also very good at Ben too about just changing little things here and there to make the script work or to make the joke work. You know, wonderful spirit of, of course, led by Martin. And somebody said to me, You will never laugh as much as you will laugh making a Doc Martin. And they are absolutely right. I have never laughed as much as I have on this. Doc Martin for him is kind of like Frasier. I always think it's a similar kind of, uh, not a similar kind of program, but that kind of actor, uh, Kelsey Grammer, I think Martin Clunes is very similar in terms of his abilities to, he can be, um, he's done comedies throughout the years that have been fantastic. And this is very different from what he was known for. You know, it's a, a very different character. It's not a sort of comedy character as such, you know, it's more of a very serious character, but that's why it's quite funny, you know. The great thing that you are fortunate to have when you do a show like Doc Martin is you have a shorthand when you're working with your actors because you know your character very well, they know their characters very well, and they can, they can get to a, a, a point very quickly in rehearsal where they know what they're doing. The first thing that we did was cast it very, very well. I mean, it, it was originally a vehicle for Martin. His part was crafted or moulded around him. The cast have all grown their individual friendships. I mean, everybody gets on with everybody, really.